the car can generate using artificial intelligence images or backgrounds according to the music we're listening to. We have a 53 inch display. I'm totally in love with this car to be honest. I really like the design lines. I am in one of the most beautiful stadiums here in China. I'm talking about the Hangzhou Sports Center right behind me and we're about to enter a very nice event thanks to an invitation from our friends from Gili Auto. They're going to be launching a new model, a new EV today. So let's go inside and see what this is about. So we have great news today, our friends from Jili let us use this car to go from here from Hangzhou all the way to Shanghai, it's gonna be like a couple hours driving. The good thing is we're gonna have the experience uh, or the chance to test this model, this is the Galaxy E8 and see how comfortable it actually is to drive on a highway uh, for a couple hours to that city. So I'm super excited to start this journey all the way to Shanghai in this beautiful EV car. We have here the Galaxy E8. I'm totally in love with this car, to be honest. I really like the design lines. They used uh, the Tiger as an inspiration for the design of uh, this car. We don't have the regular grill as we might have in other type of cars. Instead of that, we have a, this very cool uh, pattern with LED lights that turn on and off when you are starting the car. I think in general, all the lines for this car are very well done very beautiful they come in four or five different colors they are also inspired in the colors that you may get at the west lake here in hanjo that's a very interesting source of inspiration for the design and the colors for the car so let's take a quick tour around the, the car also kind of reminds me a little bit of the porsche taycan there is a bit of uh, controversy right now because xiaomi just launched their car the su7 and they were saying that really it resembles the porsche taycan in, especially in the back and I can see also in uh, this car we can tell some kind of uh, lines or resemble a lot uh, to that car in their own unique way as well because we can see here of course the Geely logo written in uh, regular letters or in the pinyin and let's open it up to see how spacious the trunk is we already have some of the luggage and equipment we use because we're ready to go to Shanghai later on today it's quite spacious, uh, to be honest. It doesn't have a spare wheel. Instead of that, they have the what cars right now are including. It's just the, uh, this equipment to repair the wheel if you have any issue on the road. Uh, we can close automatically. And now let's take a look to the interior of the car. It also looks very nice. We don't have a frame here for the door. The glass doesn't come down all the way down, but I think it's more than enough to uh, get some fresh air from outside. We have a panoramic roof made of glass, similar to what we can see on a Tesla. I think all the details on this car feel very premium. We have some speakers in the back. We have air vents. We have cup holders also over there. So it feels quite spacious, but we're going to give a try later on when we drive a couple hours all the way to uh, Shanghai today. I think it looks very nice in general. Let's go to the front. Now, here is where you can start feeling how premium this car is. We have a 53 inch display uh, in the front that could be divided kind of in three panels, one for the driver, one for media or controls and one for the co-pilot this is the one we have here but it offers a lot of different features uh, to make the driving or the using of the car experience more enjoyable it can adapt to different kind of modes depending on the weather the temperature and the lining of the outdoor of the outside 
and it can change if it's snowing, if it's sunset, if you have like a bright day like today, it might change according to that to make the mood more like uh, according to the conditions outdoor. So we can tell also the materials, the color, the design and the lines of the car inside are feeling very premium. We have a lot of different speakers that make the sound uh, experience also very nice. They're all Infinity. There is a collaboration with Infinity brand to use this, their speakers in this car. We have some leather uh, with some stitches in the front. We have some kind of like a wood texture as well. And we have wireless chargers, some USB type A and type C takes to charge the phone as well. We have a lot of storage space as well uh, all around the car. We have a couple of uh, cup holders as well. I was discussing with a friend if I would get this car, I would do it. I, I think this is uh, one of the options I might consider if I'm looking for a, a sedan, a very nice, good looking EV for an affordable price. So we're driving, uh, we started our journey to Shanghai and we're trying to enjoy some of the features of the car. We can see in the gigantic front screen, uh, the car can generate using artificial intelligence, some kind of like ambience or images or backgrounds uh, according to the music we're listening to. I mean, we're listening to some bachata, some Latin rhythms but it shows me like an old castle, but I think pretty, pretty interesting. Probably throughout the time with the uh, learn more trick because it's artificial intelligence, it will get better and better. And I need to get the map because I don't know where I'm going to. So how to go out from here? <laughs> We're almost reaching our destination and actually the car, because we didn't charge it last night, um, we left with a half battery, I would say, and now it's reaching less than 20%, so it gave me a warning sign if I want to switch to the ultra saving mode, similar to the ones you can find on phones. So that's pretty interesting to see. I didn't change to that one because I am not quite sure how the, the car will react and we're almost there. So I think this 20% is more than enough to take us to the airport. But it's good to know that you are on the road and then you switch to this uh, saving mode battery. It might give you some extra kilometers to reach your destination. All right, we made it uh, to the Hongqiao airport here in Shanghai. It was a couple hours of very smooth ride. We're gonna leave the car here. Later, our friends from Geely will send somebody to pick it up and take it back to Hangzhou. But I have to say it was a very pleasant experience uh, driving this car with all the features that we mentioned before. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this model. If you would like to us uh, to make a full review of this model, later we might have it for you guys. As I said, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, like and leave the comments down below. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day-to-day -day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.